So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use fake data to build scenarios, random uh, data sets, and then use them in, in Storyline. Now, uh, this is a two part video series. In the first part, I'll be showing you how you can generate those data sets. For example, I have this card format in which I have the name, the job title, uh, email address, and the phone number. And every time I click generate, I have a new data set. Now you, you can use this functionality in things like uh, building data sets, uh, creating questions, then you have your scenarios, you can build simulation data, morph data, persona data, you can do anything. And there are loads and loads of uh, data sets, uh, data fields which you can embed. Also if you can see, um, let's say this is a, a statement and I click generate the statement remains the same but the data changes so with that you can have uh, different questions for different assessments uh, you can set the complexity and build that uh, this is what we'll cover in video one in the next video I'll also show you how you can also have random images and uh, along with the data set so you can have these random people uh, and then these also you can build for personas and scenarios Let's begin. So now I have Storyline opened and I have one slide uh, and I'll be showing how you can populate random data sets into Storyline. For this demo, I have chosen the name and job title fields. You can have as many fields as you want. You can have uh, the age, street, um, zip code, random data, address, anything. Now, uh, first thing you need to do is to create the name and the job title and you can have two uh, text boxes to house that data i also have a generate button so that it can run the function uh, the first step i need to do is to create the variable so i'll be creating a name and job title variable i go to my variable window and i create a name field or name variable and then another one called job title there you go. So I have my two variables ready. It's important that you remember the names of these uh, variables because we'll be using these uh, in our scripting later. Click OK. Now what you need to do is to reference these variables in a text box. So I'll go to um, insert reference and for name I'll have name and for my job title I'll have job title. Great. Next thing you need to do um, is to assign a trigger which will run the function uh, and that trigger will be assigned to this button. So select the button, go to the trigger pane and just say action execute JavaScript and the script you can give, uh, you can just have to, uh, you know, give a name function. So I'll be giving as fake data open and close parenthesis now this is just a function call you can have any name for this i have chosen fake data and this will uh, tell the button to execute the function which will be defining later so this is that and click ok now everything is ready we can go and publish this project And now we can open and see that all our files are here. This is step number one. Now the API we are going to use for the fake data is faker.js. Um, it's a huge library of random data, images, zip code, pin, uh, addresses, data sets. Uh, and you can utilize that to populate the data in Storyline. Now, uh, I found that pretty amazing. Uh, how you access it, you go uh, to Google, type faker.js and then click the website, GitHub. And from here, you can download the zip file uh, of faker and save it alongside your storyline folder which i have already um, done here you can see that i have put the file here next thing you want to do is to go inside the folder go to build and then copy faker.min source file copy this go back to the storyline output and paste it inside. This is the next step. Now what you're gonna do is to create your own JavaScript file and 
tell what data uh, you want to populate and what data to extract. For that, I will use my Visual Studio Code Editor and I will create a new um, file. I'll probably name it as fake data.js and I'll start writing the code. Now, before I start, you can find a lot of content um, as to how you can access the data. For example, if you want name, you have something like faker.name.findName. Um, for email, you have internet.email. And how do you access this or find this data? You have the entire API methods defined here. You have the addresses in which you can find zip code, CT, CD prefix. You, can, you have the company. You have um, the finance data. You have images. You have uh, the names. So for this tutorial, as I said, I'd be using um, the find name and job title, these two API methods. And the, pref the syntax is very easy. It is faker.name.findName or faker.name.job title. Let's see. I go back to my coding. And if you remember, the function we uh, defined uh, to that button was fake data. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to say let fake data is equal to function. And now my function begins. So this function is what will be executed. Uh, make sure the function name you assign to that button is the same function name here. So the first thing we do is to extract the flash object. So I will say let player is equal to get player. This is my first uh, line. Then what we will do is um, extract the data set and assign it to the variables inside storyline. So I will say let name one is equal to oops equal to faker dot name dot what was the it was find name so i'm just gonna put find name here next thing it will be let job title one is equal to um faker dot name dot i think it was job title there you go next what we'll do is um, assign the variables so i will say player dot set where and first i will put the variable name which i defined which was name and what i need to assign i will assign name one we're done same thing we'll do for the next one we'll say player dot set where job title and we'll say job title one great i think we're done here save the file and if i go to my um video file here you can see that i have fake data and faker.min which we just um published just for um the clarity i will just see whether i am using the same syntax yes it is faker.name.findName perfect after the file is saved and placed inside the storyline folder what i'll do is i will edit this file now so i'm just gonna go and edit the storyline html5 file first thing is to call those two libraries so this time i'll be placing the library under the head syntax last time we did it um, below the body but now i'll be doing it under the head i will say script source first thing is faker.min.js and now the next one would be script source fake data dot js 
and we're done save the file now we are ready to view the output so now you can see i have the name job title and generate if i click generate i get the random name and random job title i can do as many times as i want and i get a different data sets every time you can use this functionality for things as i said for creating questions assessments um, simulation data mock data tool data um, and creating brand scenarios so you'll have different data sets every time and as i said before you have huge repository of things like zip code um, countries and images you have um, you know specific targeted images internet url domain email you have a lot of data which you can utilize so this follow the same way and you'll be able to populate the data uh, in the next video i'll be showing you how you can even import images and place it in the storyline file stay tuned thank you